And welcome back to another video of Marvel Contest of Champions and today we are taking up one of those other challenges and this one is the mystic one mystic dispersion I think it is where you cannot use any mystic champions and you are only allowed to use the three stars and once again we have Mordo as a boss so today's champions are took in uh, Stark Spider-Man, Aegon uh, the new Chi Chai Chao Master. We've taken in Hamdel to protect us just in case we need um, that extra sort of um, help. Well, death, cheat, so I say. And uh, we also take in Guillotine 2099. So, as always, the first objective is to ramp up Aegon to try and get him to full uh, combo so that once he is at 99, he will be hitting like a truck compared to all the other three star champions and the plan is because I heard that Hyperion can be a bit of a pain and well I'm guessing that he is a pain so that is why I have bring in uh, the guillotine 2099 we're going to be using her for him and we should get this fight under control once we get there so yeah sit back relax and watch the ramping up and this went absolutely beautiful to be honest for the 15,000 six star shards this only cost one revive and that was so ridiculous which you will see i will comment on that when we get to that part and uh, a few pops so great stuff oh yeah and almost forgot just one more thing to add into all of this and that was i did manage to one shot the mordo boss so yeah you will see how that goes as well really happy with it
So at this stage, a couple of fights in, we are cruising, uh, we are building up our Aegon, everything going really good, just a couple of little health pots here and there, and we move on to Ronan, which is another easy fight, easy fight meaning, you know, that SP1s, SP2s are just very easy to uh, evade, so it's another great opportunity to uh, keep ranking up Aegon, we continue.
So we reach one of the fights that some people are having problems with, where they say, you know, he can be a pain. To be honest, you will see um, everything was going fantastic according to plan. And then for whatever reason, sometimes this does happen. You guys might get it yourselves. When Spidey fires his SP-1 and you block the first um, initial webs and then you go to sort of dash back, you know, to miss those devastating uppercuts that can just drain your health away. Well, sometimes what seems happens is you sort of uh, block the first initial web attacks and then you dash back, but it doesn't dash back. It's like he's glued onto you. So you're sort of forced to take those um, hits and stuff and you will see somewhere in the middle and stuff, this sort of does happen. I think it happens a couple of times. Um, yeah, which was really quite annoying. I mean, you see right there, that is how it's supposed to go down. You know, but you will see that later on, oh, you know, he just like super glue straight onto it and takes away unnecessary um, health away. I mean, you see me there doing it plenty of times. And this is the only fight where I do end up using a revive. Uh, not specifically on the Spider-Man because when I do end up dying, I do use this opportunity then to uh, rank up, uh, or shall I say build up Guillotine 2099 because you need to finish the fight with a SP3 to start off with a 100 hit combo so she can be really effective. So. Since that happened, then yeah, I just threw her in. It all worked out good at the end. And you will see it right here coming up. There we go. He fires it. I did dash back, but yeah, he was uh, glued onto me. I am now in the uh, second phase of uh, my health. At this stage, I was thinking uh, if I can maybe get to an SP3. I did try to evade the, the SP1. I mean, it's like a, I would say what, 70%, 70, 80% I can evade that, but I was getting a little bit under pressure there and stuff and I did mess up on those first couple and then yeah it was all over but like I said it worked out good because it gave me an opportunity to uh, rank her up so yeah we continue
Right, and at this stage, we went through a few more fights. As you saw earlier, we did use a revive on Aegon to help build him up. We do still have a few more fights ahead of us. Um, I was a little bit worried about this Venom, to be honest, because Venom can sometimes just corner you and um, refuse to throw that SP1. And his SP2 is a lot more difficult to evade. And you know that if he gets you, it's uh, lights out. But... He was consistent with his SP1s and now that we sort of uh, was getting Aegon to the point where he was unblockable as well so we could actually hit through blocks as well at some point and that's what made Aegon really great to do this run.
So we got through there. We are now on to Grood. We just throw a couple of little uh, health top-ups there. And at this point, Aegon is literally unblockable, which um, makes this fight a lot more easier because, well, King Groot does have a tendency just to, uh, as you can see, just block there and stuff. So we will start hammering straight through there and literally force him to start throwing those SP1s.
So now that he was down, the next two fights do go a lot more quicker because both of their SP1s and SP2s are quite easy to evade. So I have no worries in taking them up all the way to uh, the second bar. So yep, we roll through them too as well. Okay, and here we have it, the Hyperion, the dreaded Hyperion. I've heard uh, quite a few people use quite a few revives on him. So we jump in with a guillotine. At this point, I wanted to just throw in a couple of little uh, boosters 
so i think it was yeah so we throw in the uh, 10 percent attack and then we throw the 10 percent attack and uh, health i mean i have quite a few of those in uh, my stash so yeah good places to use them and stuff and the guillotine 29-9 if you do have it and you're thinking about doing this run do it exactly the way that i done it she can absolutely save you lots of um, revives pots and make this fight go very easy just make sure that you control the fight and make sure like, that you are always hovering around the sp1 now the only thing that you've got to consider here is that you will well you might have to sacrifice uh the trying to finish him off with an sp3 to carry the combo on for future fights but there are a couple of easier fights coming more closer to mordo which you will see i do decide to rank her uh, well to rake her back up just in case i needed her for the mordo fight And there we have it when absolutely beautifully finished him off nice and simple was in perfect control and uh yeah we move on So this was the fight right here with Wolverine X where, um, well X23 shall I say, where I decided to um, ramp her back up because we are only a couple of fights away from Mordo and all of our champions were looking quite healthy so yeah it was a good um, decision. I mean to be honest I bring in the new character, the Mr. Chang Master, you know I mean I still haven't learned how, how to play him. I've seen a couple of videos here and there and stuff, but I have not physically played him and stuff. I ranked him up and everything, thinking he was gonna be the one to use for Mordo, but you will see it doesn't turn out that way, and I didn't even end up needing him.
And there we have it, Aegon absolutely destroying the Phoenix. Beautiful. And here we have it. We move straight on to Mordo. And um, initially, I was just going to uh, try and take away some good amount of health and then finish him off with the Ching Chang Chong Master. But I was like, yeah, well, let's throw Aegon in there and take off as much damage as possible. But I got a good little rotation going round and round. And because he can go through the uh, blocks, uh, you know, that was sort of prompting him, you know, to um, fire those SP1s, SP2s. And I was seeing his health just going down and I was thinking, my God, this might actually be, um, this might actually be a much better option in fighting him. So I am here at this stage and I'm getting a little bit excited now because I'm thinking, oh, we might be able to one-shot this guy. So I'm sort of like, uh, come on, um, Mordo, just throw a couple more SPs and then I got this. We bring it down all the way to the wire and then it's just like round about here. Where is it? Quite close. Yeah, I think there we go. I get into my undestructible and then I manage to finish him up with an uppercut. And there you have it. So those of you, you know, like that are eligible to do this, I do strongly recommend um, using the champions that I used. It can save you a lot of pots and revives along the way. Yes, it can take a little bit of time, but you are looking at 15,000 six star shards, you know, so it's definitely worth like a little bit of time. And there we go. Okay, I will see if I can do some more and stuff. Maybe I'll post some more tomorrow and stuff. And I'll post them up. And I hope you guys enjoyed.